Okay, from the wall, here's the variac going into the microwave uh, transformer. Output is high voltage, and it's rectified right there, so it'll be high voltage DC going straight into this cap. This cap is a 4,000 volt DC 2 microfarad general electric cap. Pyranol capacitor. And so the positive of this high voltage capacitor is going directly to, with this yellow line, the high voltage rod. From the low voltage rod is going through the switch right here. And you can see that little contact right there. When that makes contact there, it completes the circuit which will allow that to complete circuit come back around to the cathode of these diodes this is 510, 15,000 volts, 6 amps uh, worth of diodes and so and the anode of the diodes is going to the positive of this capacitor bank and I'm just going to use one cap right here which is uh, 200 volt 300 microfarads and the negative of this goes back to the ground on a high voltage so high voltage positive to the high voltage rod to the negative rod which connects through the switch coming back down to this and on the Gray's schematics it's switching right here and this would be a battery bank so it's switching right here but I'm switching on the front side of, or the output of the diode instead just because I didn't feel like desoldering this right here. Doing that. So anyway, high voltage rod, high voltage cap charged, high voltage rod, low voltage rod coming through up to the switch and then it's connecting to this diode which will complete the circuit to positive on this cap bank to negative which goes back to negative on there now from the grids you got the high voltage input you got the grids going to the coil I'm using a tri-filler but only two wires are connected the input to pulse it at positive and you can see I'm going to use this as a pendulum where I got two magnets stacked right there north facing out when this magnet is charged it'll be north so it should repel it and so uh, the other wire on this is going right back to the positive of a different cap negative on the cap back to negative on that so high voltage positive high voltage rod to grids into the coil out of the coil to the cap and then back to ground and so what's going to happen is once it's charged up and once this once I let this uh, oh, chopstick out of the wheel there using that to stop it what's going to happen is that that switch right there is going to contact both switches and as soon as it does that it's going to make the contact to the low voltage source to allow that to jump the gap to the low voltage rod and back the diodes will shut off and the high voltage potential has nowhere to go except to the grids which it'll do through the coil back to ground to, uh, through a positive on a cap, negative on a cap, back to the negative on the uh, high voltage source to begin with and so that's going to be the trigger. So anyway I'm going to charge it up and uh, let's see what happens.